If you are looking for a way to get good traffic to your YouTube videos, I'm going to go to my YouTube channel here, go to the Video Manager. Oh, I haven't saved the changes I made to this other video. I am going to go to my Video Manager here and we'll just pick how to share a Dropbox folder or file. One of the things that drives me nuts in YouTube video descriptions is when people use the phrase, in this video, or this video shows how to, because, well, we already know that this is a video and we don't really need that in here. It doesn't actually help you to get ranked better in Google to put the phrase, this video shows you how to. So let's get rid of that and ask a question. Want to know, that's already more powerful then this video shows you. Do you want to know how to do something? Well, that's a question that kind of invites me into a conversation as opposed to me saying, well, this is a, an instructional video and you're going to really like this. Right, I mean, invite me into a conversation. This is a simple explanation. You don't even need this is, just simple explanation for how to share a file or folder from Dropbox. Want to know how to share the file with someone you've hired from Fiverr to do transcription for you? Now it's a question. We can put a question mark on the end. And then what we should do to really make this description helpful for people and also make it more search engine friendly is go to YouTube itself. And I've opened a different tab here to show you that. So I've got one tab here, one tab here, and my ridiculous number of emails in my inbox. And so on YouTube, I'm going to look here and go Dropbox and what I'm going to find out is what words people are most likely to look for. So Dropbox tutorial, Dropbox versus Google Drive, that might be a great video review to actually make. You could make Dropbox review, Dropbox versus Google Drive. Pretty cool. But people are also looking for tutorial, so I should really include tutorial in my description, maybe even in my title. Dropbox app, Dropbox office. So office, tutorial, app, and hack. Those are words that are very common. So I want to make sure that I include, as much as I can naturally, include those words. One of the things I'll do to help me with this is tutorial, while I'm thinking about it, office, app. And so those can become keywords that I actually put in my uh, tags for the video. But now I want to write a sentence or two that includes these words. Are both awesome tools. This tutorial and you might need to put the word this in there to make it make sense grammatically, but this tutorial shows how we are using the Dropbox application, or we could just put Dropbox app on my computer, right? They may be looking for the mobile app version, but we've got app in here, and it actually is an application if it's on my computer, because, well, it's a folder, but it's also functioning as an application. I can go into all the details of that if you want, but it's kind of boring. Dropbox and Fiverr are both awesome tools. This tutorial shows how we are using the Dropbox app on my computer to share a document with others in the office, as well as how to get a... So I am then might write this sentence. We also include in this tutorial, include a tutorial again, a simple way to upload your files from Dropbox, got Dropbox in there again, to Fiverr. So let's see if we put in Dropbox tutorial, what do we get? Well, we get Windows 7, Dropbox tutorial Windows, Dropbox tutorial Android, iPad sharing. Sharing is a popular word, and I can get that in my description super easy. Dropbox tutorial Windows. So I'm going to go back in here on my computer which is running Windows, which is running Windows 7. And then the word wasn't share that came up. The word was sharing. So for sharing. So now we've got those words in there. Remember, if we had Dropbox tutorial, we had sharing, we had iPhone, which maybe it is not so relevant for this, but sharing definitely is, and Windows 7 definitely is. If I wanted to, I could put 2013 in the description. That might help. Or I could put 2014 in the description as well. Let's see if... Nope, 2014 is not popular yet because it's February. So there might be someone who's looking for a Dropbox tutorial at some point in 2014, but it's not a popular word yet. So it doesn't make sense really to add it to this particular video. We can always make another one. In any case, now we've written a better description. We've got tutorial, office, and app in there. I'm going to take those out and we'll use those in the next video. But now I've got a little bit better description that I have written. It also tells Google more about what this video is about so that when 
people search on YouTube, which by the way is the second largest search engine in the world, they are going to be able to more be more likely to find this video. One other thing I'll do, even though I'm just talking mostly about the description in this video, one other thing I will do is go to the title here and instead of saying Fiverr project, I'm going to include the words Windows Windows 7 because Fiverr project download isn't really keyworded well for this particular phrase. This is really what it's about, how to share a Dropbox folder. And so what I want to do is include the words that are more likely to give someone exactly what they're looking for. So how to share a Dropbox folder, Windows 7 tutorial which is really a better description for this video anyway and it's going to give someone exactly what they're looking for. And we did that again just by looking and seeing what comes up for the keywords that are relevant to our video in the YouTube search. I will go ahead and save this here so now we're going to save that description and we have a better description written for our video and also one that's more likely to help this video get more views. My name is Jonathan Kraft. I made all of these YouTube videos about how to do things with YouTube videos on a web page. So go check them out. They are very interesting and if you watch even half of them you'll know more about embedding YouTube videos on web pages than anybody. Well anybody who hasn't watched these videos. Enjoy. Seriously, check one of them out. I'll just, I'll just wait here. Really, they're, they're just right below. I'm just holding up my camera. Uh, seriously, just click on one of them, any of them. Really, pick one. They're all clickable. Just pick one, any of them. I'll just hang out. It's cool. I don't mind. If you liked this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up below. Be sure to subscribe as we have more helpful videos almost every single day. If you have any questions that we can answer for you, please be sure to come and visit us at showmehowtodothis.com.